A rare glimpse of a Lancashire League fixture between Accrington and Church filmed on 5th of July 1902 in the heart of the East Lancashire Cotton District. Lancashire League cricket games, like football, had come into being to suit the interests of the factory workers and were hugely popular. Here we see a rare example of live action as opposed to staged reconstructions. The shots of the crowd suggest a prosperous and family-orientated audience in attendance at the cemetery ground, with more female spectators in this one section of film than in all the rest of Mitchell and Kenyon's sporting films put together. More than a thousand spectators watched the church team humbled. Chasing Accrington's 185, Church managed only 28 runs. The Accrington Times reported that Church were wholly out of form and for the occasion at all events were quite overpowered by Accrington. The reporter also remarked that unusually the Derby crowd didn't consume as much libations from the foaming glass as usual, probably because the match was over so quickly. To the winner, the spoils and the Accrington team are captured for posterity being led in front of the camera by Mitchell and Kenyon to record their victory over their local rivals. Match officials, exuberant fans and small children are all part of the celebrations. Lancashire League teams were allowed one professional and the hero of the bowling attack was Walter Hall, who took seven of the church wickets for a total of 11 runs. He can be seen here demonstrating the accuracy of his action. Hall, like Mould, had faced accusations that his bowling was rather unorthodox. Hall stands in front of the camera and is induced to take off his cap and wave it to the soon-to-be cinematographed spectators who'd pay upwards of two shillings to watch the highlights in the town hall the following Monday. The showman exhibitor, possibly Mr Wilkinson, then takes his turn in front of the camera, holding a small child bashfully socking its thumb. The scorecard showing first the bowling figures, the loss of 10 wickets for 28 runs in under 60 minutes, with Ormerod scoring 15 out of the total. The scorer and his family stare motionlessly at the camera, afraid to move, believing they're having their photograph taken by a camera, not the cinematograph. The Victoria scorecard, Accrington's batting hero being Heaton, who scored an unbeaten 101 not out. These sporting films were rarely edited into sequential sections and were never intended to be a full record of the matches. We return once again to the field of play to see what we assume to be Accrington's victorious innings because five or more runs are shown on film. <laughs> 